Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to Cross Out. So this game is basically Mad Max meets uh, World of Tanks meets any other game where you build your vehicles out of blocks. So first in, let me show you my vehicle. This is a basic vehicle after give or take two to three hours of play. The difference between this version of the vehicle and the beginning version of the vehicle you have is I have put on two more pieces of armor here and there. Like this back bit's armor, this bit's armor here. So you're going to build, see, you collect parts like this, you put them on. The problem being, you only have 25 points if you look on the right, right now. I get another 5 points at level 5. I didn't get any extra points at level 4. And you only have so much energy which is used for your weapons and so on. Energy being a major issue. Obviously in this wasteland, so each of these guns is two, and this weapon radiator is one so it can fire faster, so that's all my seven power. The problem with the game is about to be shown now, so I actually like this game. The problem comes with this, actually goes to missions. If you see this, these are rewards, which you get for winning, not losing. 15 pieces of scrap, which to make a weapon, you need 300 pieces of scrap. Which means if you lose a lot, you will need to play give or take 25 games for one weapon. As you can see right now, it's a good, lovely team game, so hopefully we'll see it. Like, like I say, I like this game. You, everyone can build their vehicles differently. But as you might have guessed, it does occasionally take a massive amount of time to pick up items. Like, if you look at my vehicle now, my front two wheels are starter wheels turning. I have a small wheel non-turning on the left and a medium wheel non-turning on the right. I have one medium wheel, I have two small wheels, but I don't have any turning wheels. The game is a free to play, which means there is a freemium economy. Which means... Oh god. Which means I'm about to die right now. Yeah, my full weapons are gone. Everything's gone. As you can see, I'm smoking. So, the only part of your vehicle that actually matters in battle is your... Basically, your cockpit, as it were. This front piece here, which is the engine and where you sit. Everything else can be shot off and you can carry on going. But if you lose your cockpit... I'm just going to call it cockpit because I can't for life be figure out what that part of the car would be called. You are out. There is no friendly fire. Although I am not driving well, I don't know. Also, my team has just got a nine edge, so... There are different weapons in the game. There are shotguns, there are machine guns. That guy has a cannon, as you can tell by the firing. Everyone gets thrown into the same roof level. Also, there are... Oops, see? The cannon hit me. Also, there are ramming parts. So, we lost pretty badly, which is how I generally play the game. And as you can see, I gained reputation with the faction, and I gained... Uh, did I gain any resources? Did I only do 10 points? Was I really that bad? 10 points, yeah. So I gained no resources whatsoever from that battle because I didn't do anything good enough. Let's try again. As you can see, there's a problem. As you can see, you can see people constantly leaving and joining. So right now it is six versus seven, which means we're probably going to lose again. So losing teams generally do keep losing continuously because they keep losing people and the game doesn't always replace people. Oh, there's also a flip mechanic where if you put a, an item in the back of your vehicle, you can flip yourself. If you don't have that, you have to rely on other people. So if I took a sudden sharp turn, I could flip my own car. Which should be a right bugger, because I don't have to flip the mechanic right now, because I put the radiator on. But I'm now firing at long range. Get the hell off me, you moron! Oh my god. I am literally in the open and I've been hit by two of my own cars. So as you can see in the bottom, when your vehicle weapons overheat, they stop flashing. Okay, I'm here. Okay. Okay, my team abandoned me, my team abandoned me, again. I've lost, I've lost a turning wheel, I'm a three-wheeler. Luckily, my team abandoned me completely, so the game relies entirely on teams. 
Luckily, I have never had a good team, so that is fine. Oh, there goes my doors! You can shoot off individual weaponry, as you can tell. There are no repair vehicles. So I'm just going to ram them. I can't drive properly. And my team has literally just buggered off. Ugh. So yeah, we were down to five versus eight in that battle. Five versus eight. Have you swapped teams? No. Five versus eight. I wonder why you lost. So the game is officially in early access now. It's not yet on Steam as of this video. Oh, I finally gained a reward. So for losing, I have gained 10 scrap. Like I say, to buy a weapon, you need 100 scrap. You can, of course, sell any weapon, vehicle, item or scrap you get on the in-game market, which you can get gold money for which is obviously their freemium currency. So you can actually sell 100 scrap for 10 in-game gold and buy weapons on the open market that way. Which, as of right now, I seem to think is the only way to be able to pick up those weapons because I'm having a nightmarish time picking them up. Although, as you can see, there are some really interesting designs and we are officially on 8 versus 8, so this game might actually be a fun one. But yeah, I have fought two battles, I have lost twice and I have gained 10 scrap. I need 300 scrap to build a basic machine gun. I have three. I have two basic machine guns at the top, and a starter machine gun on the front. Which means to have done that, I would have needed 600 scrap just to make the beginning of my car. And this is the starter car, I would like to point out. There is some extra armour and stuff on the side. I've got van armour, and the back is minivan windows. So yeah, there is extra armour and so on, but the basic shape and size is the starting car. Although I have to admit, I do like how it handles. Although it handles very weird with all these wheels. Like I said, the game itself is fun. The balancing is... Oh my god! That's a, that's a tank! That's, oh yes, I can! That's a can! That's a cannon. See that? I lost some armour on the side, but I'm still driving. So yeah, I like how the game plays. But it's been slowed down and put to grind so badly that you could physically have to climb like bloody a cliff almost or a mountain. The grind is so bad it takes you days to get past basic. Which is unfortunate but that's literally how it's going. There's three cars over there. Can I figure that guy's... Okay. Oh, I won! We won! So we captured their flag. As it was. So the base capture. Oh, see? Because I've done it, and because we won, I finally gained a reward. Actually, I'm actually going to put that on. So if I hadn't have won the award, it would have, of course, taken me longer. So that is the LM54 cord, which is better than a starting weapon. So I now have three real machine guns. Although, of course, as you can see, I've got the car jack, which will flip me. I've got copper. This is the in-game money here, so I'm going to go to the store, I'm just going to go sell 100 for 10 in-game gold. Because generally I don't want to be able to get anything. So if I actually go to factions, as you can see there's different factions, there's the engineers, the lunatics. Needs to be level 10 with the engineers, there's the nomad, level 10 with the engineers. So you can see each group has different things and has a manufacturing bench with different levels. If you go on this, you can manufacture stuff, as you can see here. The LM54, that gun that I just picked up, 400 scrap. The shotgun, 300 scrap. This is the next level cabin, which gives me um, 8 energy rather than 7. 300 scrap. The cannon, 300 scrap. This loot container, which you can do raid, which is just you versus PvE. Just like environment. Bit difficult, but fun. So yeah, everything costs a fortune. 300 scrap for a case which might have a rare part in it. But as you see, that would be 25 to 30 games to get that. Or you go to the market. And let's have a look. So as you can see, everyone's selling for insane prices. You can obviously buy the money. But let's have a look. Reaper. Kind of the highest rate of 5 Obviously, you need time to spin up. 
Every time protect to open to me at the former. Okay. So obviously there's things you can pick up. Uh, so only pull a shotgun is one gold. Machine gun, one and off gold. The Avenger cannon. Twelve gold. I'm just gonna buy one, sod it. So I now have a cannon, which I'm just going to put on. So my vehicle is basically now a super heavy sniper. And I have one extra energy left, which isn't actually useful for anything. So I'm going to sell the back of this and put a, a defensive machine gun on top, I guess. So there we go, we now have a cannon which we're going to go take into battle. And we're going to go do this because this gives me the opportunity of shotguns, radiators and this. As you can see, to get the cabin possibility and wheel possibility small, I need to be level 5. To get the actual cannon properly to be level 6 through these missions, and again you have to win to get them. Medium wheels need to be level 7. Again, got to win. So yeah, it's... Difficult to get the gear to start, but once you have a car you like, it's obviously going to be fun. It's just getting the car you like. So, machine gun is left. Okay, so the machine gun is left, the cannon is right. The cannon has 12 shots. Intriguing. The cannon, of course, has a limited turn and a very slow turn. Hit him! Me! Oh, hit him! I'm in a bush, I'm in a bush, I'm in a bush! They're defending the cannon! Hit him! Can't see a thing, there's no zoom! They hit me! Oh god, my cannon is going to not get aimed properly! So yeah, the cannon starts, starts getting more fun. Obviously there's shotguns as well, which I can't access unless I buy. Luckily, my vehicle is on fire. That's not lucky for me, so yeah. I enjoy the game, but the grind makes it so very hard to enjoy because I can't build the vehicle I want. I can't just go, oh, I want to buy six wheels because I have to grind for those wheels so slowly. Although I do like the damage mechanics. I do like the fact that wheels can fall off and it makes your vehicle grind like this. As you can see, the lack of that wheel there on the side of my medium wheel means my vehicle is now headbutting the ground. I like that. I just wish the grind wasn't there. The fact that I spent three hours and my vehicle looks exactly the same as the bloody beginning still. Where's the enemy? Oh god, that grinding noise! I can't fire! I'm literally aiming at the floor! See, stuff like that, the cannon was useless because I lost my ability to fire, but I did just gain a Lupara shotgun! I am slowly levelling up at level 5, I might even get something nice! My stats weren't the best, because let's face it, I lost my wheel and couldn't shoot! But yeah! This game is fun, but you're going to have to do it in small doses, which means you won't level up fast unless you sink money into it. Which is going to be an issue, unfortunately. If you want to grow fast, you're going to have to sink money in. But I wouldn't recommend sinking money in because... I mean, look at some of these designs. Like that car, that looks nice. Ugh. Now that... Like I say, you just don't get the parts fast enough to do anything with them. That's the issue. Like the terrain actually hamp hampers your car. Because my car is elongated. Get out of the way. I have to put my wheels further back. The original car had the wheels where the back doors are, those windows. I put an extra piece of chassis on and just carried on going. 
He needs to stop being in my way. He really does. You asshole! So yeah, Wyden can go to hell. <laughs> Damn little mini thing getting in the way. Just looking at anyone. Hit them! Let's reverse and start capturing. Is this it? Screw you! Screw you! Screw you! He stole all my kills! <laughs> he stole all my kills! Oh dear. So yeah, the game is fun when it works out. See, now I've gained another weapon radiator. I have three of those now. And 18 scrap. Yeah. So the scrap's going to be an issue. Like I say, you need scrap for almost everything to build yourself. So I'd recommend getting 100, selling it on the market while you still bloody can. And yeah, and hoping for the best. Because otherwise you're going to be waiting for absolutely bloody ages for something good. Like I say, this cannon would be level 7. Now I'd be 4 to 5 hours of gameplay. So you're looking at like a couple of hours to get a shotgun, three or four hours to get a cannon, five or six hours to get something else, I don't know. But like I said, there's only so many weapons in here, so the fact that it takes you that long to change your weaponry out is an issue. Which is the problem. Because it shouldn't be. So the game which is kind of limited to basically the design of the first car for ages. You don't want to have only one or two weapons on that same car for like six hours. I don't know how fast it fires. I still don't know. That did not tell me anything. Missed. Missed. Hit. There we go. Missed. That might miss you all the time. I'm a bad shot. Come on, they're going to capture. Yep, I'm bad at this. I am not the cannon sniper type. I'm really not, my god. Jesus, I am bad. Okay, I'm a fish out of cannon shells by missing the whole time. Now to go drive down there because if I fall down here, I won't get up again. Because I don't have the boost. Crap. Yeah, we've lost. So I'm not the cannon sniper type. Like I say, every loss you only get scrap. Of course, for me to get anything good, I'm going to have to sell the scrap. Which I probably just do now, why the hell not? There's no point not doing it at this point in time. I mean, maybe in the future it will screw me over, but like this. I might as well just sell for 0.03. I don't need all of these. Don't need all of that. 0.06. Like... The market right now is completely out of how it should be. It's a little bit screwy. Okay, small wheels. Small wheels. Oh, small wheels steering. So now my car will have. This will be weird. So I have two small wheels on one side and a medium and a small on the other. My car has officially gotten odd. But yeah. Like, there's no point not going, oh, scrap, sell 100. Because, I mean, that's 10, that's like 10 fails for me. Maybe even 20, depending if you don't get resources. But, yeah. I can't recommend it because the grind. Like, 30, 50, 60 euros 
for a tank and 3,400 credits. 30 euros for basically what I'm driving now with a paint scheme and a cannon and 1,500. This is tenor for 650 credits and the starting vehicle but shinier. And this is 20 euros. So it's a bit coins alone. It's 2950. So I just sold my 100 scrap for 2 euros. So the uh, market is completely out of whack right now. The grind is insane. And the problems, of course, being that matchmaking isn't always fully there. I have yet to play higher level matchmaking. I want to point out that everything I'm playing is low level. Because there's a Leviathan option here where you have bigger vehicles. But I'm only playing low level stuff. I understand that. So if you're watching this expecting high level stuff, not yet. There may be a second video if I can force myself to go for that long. Although right now, three hours, and I have to make myself buy the cannon off the market. I'm not entirely sure I'll make it to the high level stuff in the next few months. Maybe Christmas. I might get there. Because I've played grindy games before. And they get to you after a while. I can only grind for so long before I go insane. Hmm. A Spitfire shotgun. Yeah, so there's different levels of rarity, obviously. Like relics, legendary, epics, rares. So yeah. A lot of people you'll be fighting will have more advanced stuff, like these unguarded missiles and so on. And this machine gun. But of course you have to get them, which means you have to buy the crates. But yeah, right now I'm doing low level stuff with me cannon. I'm now running the cannon as you saw me buy. But I'll be honest. Now we're doing. So as you can see, this is a basic card, same as mine, only like the back's covered with the next level. I think the next, like level five, I'll get this covering. This is basically the starting car with spikes. This is basically the starting car, completely unchanged, but with machine guns. This is probably many hours in. But yeah, it's basically the starting car over and over and different like this. This is the starting car. With the cannons that are strapped to the front. That's the starting car on its side. That's the starting car of machine guns. See? That means it can't flip itself over. That is a sign that it wants an ally to help it out. And everyone's ignored it. <laughs> As always, teamwork takes the back seat when it comes to killing a friend. They, are li they literally just let Finnick get murdered. Oh well. Hey, Finnick, isn't that going to restore my kills? Yeah, it is. We're back in the same game. So, yeah, you will be looking at the same vehicles over and over again for quite a while with small changes. So obviously no one wants to destroy their vehicle because, let's face it, you then have a... I mean, there's no point, really. There's not much to do. The actual chassis... The actual cockpit itself is massive. If you actually look underneath it, you can actually see the actual original support structure there of the wheels. See? It covers the entire thing, so you need these two smaller bits afterwards. So, yeah, the car itself covers a lot. Huh. Has the game crashed? Looks it. Oh, good. That was fun to watch and wait for. But yeah, you're going to be looking at the same cars over and over and over again for quite some time. Unless you physically shell out for in-game currency to pick up the really good weapon there. Because I can only have 25 parts in this car until I get to level 5, I can have 30 parts in the car. And I won't get any extra energy. So I can't throw an extra 3 machine guns on and be a really powerful but very fast shooter. Like I couldn't fire 100 rounds in a second and run out of energy. You can't do that. I have 7 energy. There's a machine gun, a cannon, and nothing else. That's literally it. Oh, one of our allies blew up. I can probably... Yeah. So the car won't see that many major changes until I get the next chassis piece where I can actually put that on and get one extra energy. And maybe put the flipper back on. That's it. I 
think I missed. How do I zoom? Why can't I zoom? Oh! It takes a while to move, they sort of slowly fly by. Get out of the way, Mihiv! Get out of the way, Mihiv! God damn, I'm not good at this! I'm not good at aiming! Ooh! He's coming straight at me, of course he is. Oh, they've got a cannon back there! He's, he's retreated. Oh. I'm out of machine I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. I can't fire past my own cannon. I can't fire past my own cannon. It's an issue. You asshole. So yeah, teammates are especially useless in regards to physics, because he couldn't stop and he pushed me off the bridge. Which is an issue. And now I've got reputation level 5, which means I gained a radar, finally, and new parts. Level 5. So I've got level, no, so you've got parts to 30, I gained one canvas roof and two grills. Covers very important, reduction of armored vehicles, yep. I don't have access to that yet right now, because obviously to get the good stuff I need copper for... I don't know. Next level, level 7. Yeah. So obviously to make a judge, which is the blue stuff, I need copper. And even more scrap. Maybe by the time I get to that kind of uh, scrap, I might get to the point where I'd like to buy them off the market outright. But yeah. So I just gained from that level up five more part abilities. Uh, I don't know. All you need to do really is keep arming up. Just rotate. But yeah. The issue, of course, like I say, is going to be it's a very grindy game, and it may get to you after a while. So I'm going to do one more game, and then I'm just going to move on. But yeah, if you like the grind, you can stick with it. This game is fun for the combat. If you don't like the grind, I recommend getting a different game, like World of Tanks or War Thunder, which is basically pre-built vehicles, but yeah. Otherwise, yeah, so, so this should allow us to scan them, let's put it in the back. Uh, let's add some, I don't know, some extra armour? So let's just add some, some blades to the front of the car. Two more pieces, but I don't care. Let's go to one final battle with the cannon on the roof. Actually, oh, the cannon on the roof, so I should be able to fire the machine gun continuously when they attack me. That was weird. So my vehicle is still blatantly the first vehicle. Like that guy behind me is still the same guy. That guy there is still the same guy. You can blatantly see it. They all look the same, unfortunately. Who's you telling me to defend? He is. So half our team is going to assault. That's fine. There he is. There's a cannon over there, I can hear it firing. So yeah, the game I wouldn't recommend unless they do something like the bloody grind. Like I say, I'm playing an early version of the game so it could very easily change. But yeah, the grind itself is phenomenally insane. Like losing, you should still get rewards. The fact that you don't is a serious problem. 
It just means loser cars are less likely to, you know, to carry on playing after a certain amount of time. I mean, I... You know, I'm not going to throw money at a game I'm losing at all the time because I can't build up my car the same as everyone else's. That's the insight, uh, height of insanity. You moron! You can physically see the only cannon car firing, so you thought you would ram it in the side. You the problem with this game also is most of the team you find don't know what teamwork is and are all obsessed with getting the final kill. As evinced by the fact that they let that guy on his side die because they were trying to get the final shot in. But yeah, there's always going to be issues in this kind of game with teamwork, unfortunately. So yeah, anyway, I have been the Fallen Shogun. This has been Crossout. Uh. Yeah, the grind. The grind is insane, man. I've played, what, 30 minutes now? I've got a load of shotguns, luckily. But I have, what, leveled up once? I know, the grind is just going to take a while. It's going to take me hours as I get anywhere resembling a vehicle which doesn't look like the basic pickup truck. Either way, if you enjoy as always, like, comment, favorite, share, subscribe. If you comment, I will reply. If you like the series, will count for longer. Who's that indie? And of course, if you subscribe, you do become part of the Fallen. You know new videos and series come out. And at the end of the last battle, I will see you in Valhalla. This might be a stream game. I just stream it for a couple of hours and see how it goes so people can just join in. But yeah. Ciao for now, people. Bye bye.